Hey guys, it's Blake the Webhead here, and it's been a while since I made a video, and I'm here and I'm back to bring you guys some more news on video games and movies. I hope you guys enjoyed your Halloween, because I know I sure did. Uh, I had a lot of fun, I had a blast, I went out, I drank, I drunk, danced, had me a good time. And um, I got me some candy, so, <laughs> you know... I stole some candy for some kids. But, you know, as a matter of fact, that reminds me of that time when... Yeah, I had fun. Of course I had fun. Why wouldn't I have fun? It's fucking Halloween. You get to be whatever you want to be and go out and cause mischief and all kinds of dumb shit. Yeah. I got a ton of candy. Like, I got lit... I have a lot of candy. Like, literally, if I were to sneeze right now, candy would literally come out of my ass. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's how much candy I got. It was ridiculous. What the hell? What the fuck are you doing? Why are you eating my chocolate? Why do you have it all over your face? Chocolate? This doo-doo baby? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. That's disgusting. Are you serious? That's nasty. What? Don't act like you don't like this shit. You know I still look sexy. What? No! That's just not fucking sexy. That's disgusting. What's wrong with you? Come here and give me a kiss. Look, any closer, I'll spray you in the face, bitch. Nasty shit. Motherfucker. As you guys know already, and I've said this in some of my other news, that Blizzard's World of Warcraft isn't doing so hot. They're down 100,000 more subscribers since September 30th, where they were at 8.6 million subscribers, and now... They're at 7.6. So, like I said, it doesn't look too good for Blizzard and World of Warcraft. Let's, uh, let's hope that, you know, it dies slowly because it just took so many years of my life. But anyway, on other news, Blizzard is having BlizzCon this weekend. So, be prepared to have a lot of news handed to that ass this weekend at BlizzCon. They've uh, announced a new MOBA game. It's called uh, the Storm he Storm of Heroes. Um, or Heroes of the Storm, I should say. The characters are going to be based on all their Blizzard characters from World of Warcraft to StarCraft to Diablo. They're going to have characters and heroes and villains from all of those genres of games. Another uh, topic that I want to talk about as far as BlizzCon is concerned is their World of Warcraft movie. Now, I'm hoping that they're going to bring us some news on the World of Warcraft movie that's supposed to be in f the process of being filmed right this minute. Um, I'm actually looking forward to that movie. Even though I'm not into the game anymore, I'm still looking forward to seeing that movie. And I'm very excited. Um... In other news, Grand Theft Auto 5 or Grand Theft Auto Online has finally given us our money. It's it's compensation for all the foul ups that they've had since their launch of Grand Theft Auto Online, where your character would get deleted or you wouldn't be able to save or stuff, just random bugs that were going on for quite some time. They actually given everyone that was playing the game of Grand Theft Auto Online for the month of October, $500,000 to compensate for all the issues. And I've already used up almost half of my <laughs> buying all kinds of dumb shit. Like, I don't know, another house, uh, some cars, I bought me some bicycles. Uh, I did go to the strip club and spend a lot of money. I, yeah, I have a problem. Uh, but now in the comments below, let me know what you guys did with your 500000 if you already spent it all, like me, pretty much. Um, and let me know some feedback on, you know, how much fun you guys are having playing the game. I'm still playing the game. I'm having tons of fun. I just bought myself a motorcycle. So, you know, I'm just cruising around blasting people. But, uh, yeah, that, that game is actually more fun than I thought it would be, and it's taking up a good chunk of my time. I haven't really been playing Batman Origins. 
Arkham Origins. I should be. I know I should be, but I'm not because I'm playing Grand Theft Auto. But hey, whatever. I'm having fun. It's been revealed by Nintendo that Marth from Fire Emblem, if all you guys or any of you guys are Fire Emblem fans and you care at all about this news, Marth will be the 18th playable character in the new Super Smash Brothers game coming out on the Nintendo Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS. There is not a release date yet. Or at least as far as I know, I do not know when it's going to be released yet, but I will find that out for you guys and let you know. News from Disney and Marvel Studios. They have announced that they're going to be showing or introducing four new television series on Netflix. Um, the four series is Daredevil, Jessica Jones... Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Now all four of these characters are going to have their own TV show and after about 13 episodes from each character they're going to come together and they're going to make another um, series called The Defenders. Now this is supposed to kind of rival their big brother The Avengers on the big screen and bring in some more revenue for Disney. I'm actually looking forward to it. Uh, to see some new characters, some different characters star in their own adaptation of whatever story that Marvel is going to decide to show us. Uh, in 2015, I believe, is when they're going to start that. Um, so definitely look forward to that on Netflix. They're doing it on Netflix because they want to give the consumers the opportunity to view these episodes whenever they like. And, you know, be able to watch all the shows and not miss an episode because you know someone had to work on Tuesday and they missed the episode so they gotta wait till it comes out on on DVD or whatever so they're putting it on Netflix so you can actually watch it whenever you want um, it's actually a, a lot of news that's good news phase two of Marvel's um, Avengers has started Thor The Dark World actually comes out this Friday, which is tomorrow, and that kicks off Phase 2. Now, the summer is when, um, I believe, Captain America Winter Soldier is coming out, the summer of 2014. So, definitely look forward to seeing Phase 2 from Marvel for the next Avengers movie which is supposed to be coming out I believe at the end of 2015 or 20 I think it's the end of 2014 the beginning of 2015 I'm not sure but it's somewhere around there so definitely look forward to that coming up now before I wrap up this week's episode of Webhead News I just want to bring to you guys the fact that I'm so excited about this month the November, month of November the month of November is bringing us a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff uh, as far as movies and games. I've went over some of the movies already. Thor is coming out this week. Next week, uh, seven days from now, I believe it is, the PS4 will be launched. And then a week and a half later, about two weeks later, the Xbox One will be launched. So it's going to be hectic. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be hard to find any of those systems anywhere. So if you guys haven't reserved them yet, um, I'm not sure if it's too late because, like I said, it comes out next week. It might be too late to reserve it. My Your best bet would be to go to a different retailer and hopefully they'll have them available, which I doubt. But me personally, me and a lot of friends have decided that when they launch next just next gen systems, they have a lot of bugs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait about six months or so and then get our system because if you get the system right away, like I said, there's gonna be bugs, there's gonna be all kinds of issues that they have to fix and pan out. So it gives them this six months gives them times to patch things up, updates, do all that stuff to fix every problem that they have with their new system. Along with the fact that, you know, they're only going to have, they're not going to have a whole lot of games. They will have a good amount of games, but as time progresses, they'll have more games available, more accessories available, stuff like that. So we're going to wait another six months because the PS3 pretty much has a good year and a half to another two years of life in it. So 
we're not really going to be missing out on a whole lot right now. We can wait an extra six months. So definitely think about that, you guys. If you don't get your hands on the PS4 and the Xbox One, it's not the end of the world. We still have PS3 and Xbox 360, and they will still be developing games for those systems. So keep your head up, and until next time, I'll see you guys again on Webhead News. Oh, <laughs>